All right, guys. Um, some of the announcement to make. Um, sorry, I've been recording my iMac for a while, but I want to announce that Blue Gate Shopping Centre is pretty much nearly done now, and yeah, the mall is is ninety three percent complete. I'd say ninety six. I'd say maybe that much. And we're going to take a full tour of Blue Gate Shopping Centre. The mall is almost done, it's almost fitted open to the public. And we're going to take a look around each store in the shopping centre. And yeah, we're going to take a look around. Yes, this is if you need to let me fix it. I spoke as thought it accidentally deleted the roof by accident. So I had to re edit it. These pedestrian crossings work absolutely perfect. And I'm going to take you on a full tour around the mall, so... Here we go. The mall is pretty much almost done. And you're probably wondering where does the music player gone? Well, this mall does have a music player, but it's now like four in music player where it, e where it reverbs the um, songs to make it echo and sound like it's being played in a real mall. Here we have the Kone 4th 5th generation eco discs with LCE logic. Because LCE still exists on Roblox. This game is running smoother than it has. It's still a bit laggy. And it still crashes for iPad users because the train's 19. Uh, well, actually, that's not. The, it's actually. Um, well, actually, the train's 19 iPad sucks, anyways. The 10.2 inch base model sucks, anyways. It's a terrible iPad. But. I absolutely hate the iPad. I need to, I'm hoping to get the iPad Pro as a replacement. So, I, yeah, this is this is um, Middleton Grange, which has no. It's more logic. Now, big thank you to XR Cody for giving me this lift. He gave me this lift and put it in the store for me. And you let and you let me modernise it to an my logic as well because it's used to be a generic. It was patched in there, then it was a then it was a generic, then it was no it's mod logic. And it has a rear door as well. So yeah. This is this store belongs to Ace. Or Radar Alex, or whatever you want to call him. Down here is the Radar Button. Actually, we'll fly out. Actually, we're going to go into the we're going to go into the service area now. So, oh, here's a lovely pathway here. This mall is really beautiful. Many Otis Asia Pacific devs have said, including Milky, she even said that that future set games are absolutely fantastic. Which they are. Apart from the lag, they're fantastic games. Here we have the Otis 2000 that was decommissioned. 2009 Otis 2000. Sadly, now this decommissioned and it just sits here. The shaft has been demolished, as you can see, to make way for the Plymouth Golf Shop. Named after a car company. Unfortunately, Railman did delete the Plymouth car. That was in the. Um, yeah. Also, you can see when it's fun, you see the generic indicator from the generic mod. So, yeah. This door needs to handle on your side, I know. We have all the offices down here. And yes, it, this place is this is air conditioned as well. As you can see. Now we're gonna ride an absolutely epic lift. We're gonna turn this off because it's a bit noisy. We're gonna ride the epic Kone M series lift. So let's take a ride in this. Get ready for an epic motor, guys. Sounds like the generic lift at my college, not the generic lift, the express lift at my college. And yes, I do have an office. I knew my desk have offices, so yeah. Let's take a look at these lovely offices. 
I have to, that I have an orbital phone in my office, you can see, and here's my AC. I've got a Blendtec blender for when I'm doing, oops, that needs to be fixed, that, to, that needs to be anchored. We've got my actual real life machine in here as well, so, and I've got a mini fridge. That's my orbital fan control. And to make it, make it, make it oscillate, you press this red button. On the real one it will just oscillate normally, but on this one you have to, it will just oscillate into it on, that's how orbital fans work. But yeah. And here we have the control room. Which, this room, is where all the AC is. And someone's made a mess of this place. Oh dear. Anyways, this is where all the where all the condensers live for the AC. And we do have and because this room gets very hot. Does have an air conditioner. Even sounds realistic, that's how fantastic this game is. I'm gonna turn it off for now though. I do apologise for that for um, lower end devices. It's because Roblox is not optimised for it. And when the new Agoru engine comes out, the game will be upgraded to the, all of this will be upgraded to Agaru. Which apparently it was not Ag Agaru. Ag ah, a sneaky to hold pronounce but I've forgotten now. But all this will be upgraded to that controller when it comes out. And we're gonna go back down to G. I'm gonna to talk with the rest of this lovely mole. I'm gonna main this we just sprayed them a few minutes ago. We have one of the parking lifts here. It's in the fifty five hundred. There's a bit of door lag, but it, overall it runs a lot better than it did. And it will run even better when, never, when all the lifts are not on the Azure controller. I, I think it's pronounced Agaru. I'll have to check. Also, it's the first day of September today, guys. So, happy 1st of September. First day of autumn. I made these moving walkways myself, actually, by the way. These are looks here. Translators which have basically moving walkways. And we've got all of we got Jojo streetlights in here. So here is the Jojo streetlight store, and we got you guessed it, Shinla Eurolifts. The button didn't light up them for a second. That was weird. The left it has nice fancy glass doors and the lifts are maintained by Kone. And yes, these lifts the left lift does have an overlay overling shoes. Watch it close up and then we'll go to the next lift. These these sensors I'm gonna try and avoid because they, they do your head in. And let's watch it close up. Still laggy, but not as bad as it was. I've changed the, the game compatible. I, ch I changed the game to um, Zero. compatibility. We've got a Shinra 2600 here, not the Roblox Nova version. Another game. Another reason why this game could be lagging is because of OBS, probably. Games tend to lag more when you screen record them than they when you're not screen recording. Let's go out here.
in Defied is American, so that's why some of it's called elevators. I might change it to lifts. We're using the EMS five points, the um, non, the non, um, the older version, which is not you don't have to pay for. Tampering this door can get you into this door. Please just leave this door alone. Thank you. So we've got some toilets next to the car park as well. Some nice old well dry hand dryers. And cola freshman toilets. Here's the car park. Number 5500. I'm not going to ride all the lifts in this game because it will take too long. I don't want to, to bore you guys touring all the lifts in this mall. Although I know some people do like that. I'm not going to do that because. I want you guys to see them all for yourself. And also Southwood reopened as well. Southwood is running a lot smoother than it does. In fact, Southwood's my smoothest running mole. And this lift's got snap cabs. Ooh, some of my friends are online. I don't know, I don't know what it is, a staff door here. I don't know what the show is meant to be. You ever built this? Can you please tell me what that is? Also got these form city centre style lights here, which I actually made myself. Time Mark only has one lift now because of lag issues. If the game runs better with the aggro, I'll add, I'll add, I'll add another lift back. I'll add the other lift back. And there's one of the hydraulic lifts. Series one, we'll go and buy that in a second. But first, we're gonna buy this. I'm gonna buy this up because I don't want to take waste too much time. Epic Moda. I'm gonna invite Tony over see if he wants to be in, make a cameo in the video. I only send people invites now if they're alright with it because it's it's causing people to get mad, and I do realise that now. So only send I send only send people who are alright with me sending them invites because yeah, it, it can annoy people. Anyway, this is, this is the epic mode series one. Here we go. One of my favourite lifts here. This is. It's an American lift in a British mall. I upgraded the panel as well to a, a, a better one that's more accurate. Just don't worry, this is not maybe Roblox nowhere. Nate's old Cody. Oh, oh no, the lift's gone missing in the store. Oh, that's that's a shame. We got Matthias Corporation and. Matthias, nothing that's not what to make is that's Master and Matthias Corporation are all part of Future Tech Incorporated now. Well, I'm part of their companies. We've got the Intermary Hill lift here, which this is basically just a Mary Hill remake. Well, one of, well, we remake one of the lifts there. And that's what I was talking about, that them sensors, them item detectors are highly annoying. Now TMBR, TMBR Worth 2 used to be a really rude person. Which which if you don't know who that is, it's this guy. And because he stopped being rude, he's no longer rude anymore. He's actually a really nice person now. He's not the best builder, but I gave him this door as an award for, um, well, stop, well, just to, um, stop, you know, I stop being rude. And it's still recording, that's good. This is a lovely Luxio Nova 4. 
I don't think Tony's gonna come. There wasn't a Roma Tech store here, but but one of my deaths death to move music because of lag. A Roma might be at the store back, depends. It all depends on how the game runs at the end of the day. Moving into my store, which is Future Tech. We used to have a first generation over there, and it's got ripped out, and when the, sec when the sec second generation SP 602 came out, we installed that. This is a very nice lift with a very nice sounding motor. It sounds like an old express lift, doesn't it? Take a listen. Sorry for the lag, guys. Yeah. Matthias Co Corporation acquired company. And Matthias Corporation is owned by Masterlift, so. Yep. And this door cannot be accessed. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put all, this floor cannot be accessed by this lift. I'm, I'm gonna put a wall there because you don't need it. And every day I think we'll be on blacklist from the mole, from, from from the mole. But he won't be. Um, he won't be. Right now, he won't be a developer anymore. Wow, this is what I want to show you. My Pontiac Asset Store, which is also named as an old car company, and. Yep, this is my store. We've got two OS Gen 2 lives in here. And look at this cool layout. Look how the indicators are laid out. We've got we've got indicators on the main lifts themselves. And we've got indicators here, but that's only on the ground floor. So we've got a beautiful OS Gen 2 life. I'll just ride these ones for you. This is lift two. God, that was a big lag spike. The game can run smoothly, it can. But sometimes it just chooses not to. Most of the time it chooses not to. It, it does run smoother than it did though. Way smoother than it did. But it's still laggy. Cobalt is on its last year before it gets replaced with the new Boralis engine. And hopefully that'll be no, not Boralis, Agaro. And we're hopefully when the new Agaro engine fixed, they'll fix the relevelling issue as well. Let's try and call the Gen 2 Life, the other one. I'll just go and get it on the floor if that's... Wait for me, it's Gen 2 Life, I want to ride you. Love the design of OS Gen 2 Life. Benno says it's a cheap lift, but he's completely wrong. The OS Gen 2 Life is one of the one of the best Gen 2s that OS have made. Except the early Gen 2s. People who say that a Gen 2 is a cheap lift are completely wrong. Gen 2 is actually a really, really good lift. And the Asian Gen 2s actually have a chassis. And my, my um, Pontiac Asset stores, they're going to soon get upgraded to the 4.0 controller that ATEC uses. Now this lift is an experiment and it's the final lift I'll show you. Is this in the Fabian Android? With capacitive buttons. This is an older code button. The reason I put this in is because I wanted to do an experiment to see if, if using an older cobalt could reduce the lag. And it seems to be a lot it seems to be a lot when it's moving a lot quite smoothly actually. So I did want a lift for next, I didn't want the next to be liftless. And that's the reason why we have a, a lower detailed lift in this shopping centre. You notice the car top is not as well detailed as the um, other lifts. No, I'm not going to surf this because I did not promote lift surfing. What else is there to show you now? Ah, yes, I forgot to show you Blue Gate Arcade. And that's the final bit I'll show you for today. So we're going to ride this lovely Shinda Eurolift here. Hmm, this one has very little. Maintained by Matthias Corporation. 
Yeah, no, this here maintained by Matthias Corporation and Pontiac Assets, not Pontiac Assets, Plymouth Corporation and Kone. So three companies maintain the lifts here. Then the final thing I want to show you are these lovely Shinder 5500s. Well, actually, it's not, this is not the final thing I want to show you, but there, there's one more sort of down there. I'll have. Actually, I'll be able to show you most of this in this video, actually. That's quite surprising. I didn't think I would be able to get them all in this video. So I thought this is this is boring to some of you guys. I want you guys to see the, the, shopping center, the whole shopping centre yourself. But I did show you most of the list, yeah. But not all of them, though. And here is the Otis Gen 2 Life. I've made this actually like a, like a UK Otis Gen 2 Life because the UK Otis Gen 2 Lives have just the regular blue Otis Gen 2 indicator on the outside. The typical segment display indicators. And this dollar fixture, whereas Gen 2 is in when whereas other Ocean 2 Lives use that really nice square panel like like the resistor does. Going up. This is the newest model of Ocean 2 Life as well. It's the new it's the newest version. It's not Cobalt 4 point But it's still pretty nice. And you guys know about the Kone store. Okay. It's in a separate game to reduce lag. Here's the outside of Blue Gate Arcade. I'm not going to show you the Kone store in this video, but yeah. We've got a fake Aldi up here as well. I'll just give it to the guys a tour of the outskirts now. This is one of the best models I've ever made. Despite the fact it is laggy, it's one of the best models I've ever made because it's got it looks super beautiful and like most like most games I've made I used to make. Well actually Modern Life Tiles was one of my good games. Modern Life Tiles was actually quite good. But it's still not as good as this. But yeah. This is the Aldi fake Aldi. This is actually based on the little mere green. Nice in the similarities. Haha. <laughs> I like taking inspiration from real life places. And all that. And this is all the side street back here. And the reason I moved to day and night cycle, this game used to have a day and night cycle, it doesn't anymore. It's because of lag. Mm, and and the lag is from two things. It's it's from it's from Roblox and it's from Cobalt. I'm not, not hating on Cobalt because I love Cobalt. Cobalt's an awesome engine. But yeah, that's what's causing the lag. So yeah, Blue Gate Shopping Centre is nearly finished. It's nearly ready to open. The grand opening. And also I'm gonna say a bit of trivia about the mall now. So oops. I'll show you I'll tell you about Blue Gate Shopping Centre real quick. So this mall was originally built in 2009 and um the mall became abandoned by the original constructors constructors and there were some lifts in the mall when, when it built most of the, have, most of the original lifts have been replaced now tk max was also in here as well tk max is where plymouth corporation is now no plymouth corporation tk max was it was a Plymouth was originally the TK Max store, which yeah, I've got the fixtures on that lift. Somewhere around here, I've got the fixtures. But yeah, this mall was nearly ready to open, so yeah, stay tuned for the grand opening of, of this mall. I'll keep you guys updated in the group and on my channel. I just want to show you a nice glass 5500. Not going to ride it because it's. Cause I'm making this video too long now. 